So in this um, video, we will be looking at um, some mathematics shortcuts. We will be looking at some short method of uh, multiplication without the use of a um, calculator. And specifically, we will be looking at how to multiply a number with 9, 99, 999 as the numbers are have 9, 9, 9 throughout. When you are multiplying a number with them, a shortcut method you can actually use to get your results without stress. So the first one we'll be looking at is uh, 9 times uh, 8. So we'll start with 9 times 8. So supposing you have 9 times 8, and let's say you've forgotten what you obtain when you multiply 9 by 8, what are you going to do is that. First and foremost, the first thing you do is that this is the left hand side while this is the right hand side. So you make sure the 9 is on the right hand side. So let's switch side. We're going to have 8 times 9. So the 9 is going to be on the right hand side while the 8 is going to be on the left hand side. So what next do you do is that? you're going to subtract 1 from the number on the left hand side so you have 8 minus 1 8 minus 1 gives you 7 now you bring the result which is 7 here under the number on the right hand side which in this case is 9 so this is going to be 9 minus this 7 which is equals to 9 minus 7 is what? 2 so your answer is what? 72 so the answer you got when you subtracted one from the number on the left hand side which is in this case is seven and the one you got when you subtracted this one gives you the total answer 72 so nine times eight eight times nine is equals to 72 the result is actually 72 okay the result is what 72 as straightforward as that so we're going to try with six times um nine so let's try the same method with six times nine so six times nine using the same method from this is the left hand side while this is the right hand side so from the left hand side we're going to subtract one so this is going to be six minus one which is what five now we'll bring this five so nine minus five gives us what four so finally what is your answer six times nine is equals to 54 your answer is what 54 as simple as that now can this method can you work with a uh, let's say two digit numbers how about numbers that are not just single digits We've tried it with single digits. It is going to work. So we're going to try another example right now. Okay. So in this example three, we're going to multiply twenty-four times ninety-nine. Meanwhile, take note. Your number must always be nine, 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 nine. You can't use 98, you can't use 97 for this method to work. So what do we do? This is 24 times 99. So on the left hand side, we are going to subtract 1. So we have 24 minus 1, which is 23. So we will now subtract 23 from 99. So this is going to give us, let's do that now. 99 minus 23 gives us 9 minus 3 is um, 6 9 minus 2 is 7 so combine all numbers together we have 2376 so 24 times 99 is 2376 is as simple as and easy as that so you can punch these out on your calculator and you confirm that 24 times 99 is 2000 376 okay so 
we are going to try our next example now. 46 times 9, 9. 46 times 9, 9. So in the same vein, this is going to be 46 minus 1, which gives us 45. Then, 99 minus 45. What we have here, which is 45. 9 minus 5 is 4. 9 minus 4 is 5. So our final answer, we combine everything together. This gives us 4, 5, 5, 4. As easy as that. Okay. Can this method work when the numbers are larger? It can still work. So we're going to try that now. When the numbers are actually larger. So in our next example, we're going to try 86 times 999. This is a 3-digit number. This is a 2-digit number. So we want to actually try and see whether our method is going to work. So just like before, this is your left-hand side. This is your right-hand side. So 86 on the left-hand side minus 1. This gives you 85. Okay, now you move 85 over here to the right hand side and you subtract 85 from 999. Nine, nine. So what do you have? 9 minus 5 is 4, 9 minus 8 is 1, then 9 minus nothing is 9. So you combine both numbers together and you have 85914. You can confirm this on your calculator. You discover that this is your answer. This is the answer you're going to arrive at. Okay? So, we move to another example. In this case, we are going to work with um, 5, 2, 3 times 9, 9, 9. Three digit number times three digit number. But always remember that it is 9, 9, 9. So, what do you do? In this case right now, we... Are going to have um, just like before this is our left hand side this is our right hand side so the left hand side minus one so this is going to give us three minus one two this is two this is five two two so you move this number over here you have five two two okay so nine minus two seven nine minus two 7, 9 minus 5, 4. So combine the digits on the left with the digits on the right. This gives you 5, 2, 2, 4, 7, 7. This is 522,477. You can write this out in your calculator and you discover that this is exactly the same answer you are going to arrive at. So we move on to another example. Mm, this is example seven. So in this case right now, we are going to use um, eight, one, seven times nine, 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 nine. Eight, one, seven times Nine 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 nine. Is our method gonna work? Yes. So eight one seven minus one gives us eight one six. Then nine 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 minus eight one six. You have nine minus six three nine minus one eight nine minus eight one. Then nine here. Combine both digits together. What do you have? Eight one six nine one eight. Three. So this is eight million one hundred nine thousand one hundred eighty-three. You can punch it out your calculator. So this method will always work. But when you are using it, make sure that the number on the left hand side is smaller than the number on the right. On the right hand side, like eighty-six is smaller than nine 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 nine. It's not going to work for adventure if you use eight. 
63 times 99. This method won't work when the number on the left is smaller than the number that has a 9 on the right hand side. So the number on the right hand side must always be larger for this method to work. So I believe you've actually learned something new today. You can uh, um, just quickly like the video, subscribe to our channel and drop your comment and share it with other people. This can actually go a long way in helping you in, your, in solving and your daily mathematics problem. Especially, maybe you are writing an exam that it's, you have to be time conscious, maybe an architect or any other thing. This is actually going to go a long way in helping you to actually finish up on time. Thank you so much.